on down. I love you back. I love you back. Thank you for being here. Welcome to my home, you know? Thank you. This is my new home, so I made my set like it's my house in Chicago, so when you come as a guest, I want you to feel at home, so I'm gonna treat you like I would if you was at my, my other home in Chicago. So, do you need anything? You need anything? Y'all all right? Okay. Huh? I, oh, yes, I know. I, I thought, because in my house, I keep a gazillion of blankets, and I get cold a lot. Anybody cold? I'm sure you are. And then what I do is I, I tell the young folks, so come on, young folks, let me use your young legs. Go on, on, come on, young people. I send the children up there to go get things. She ain't no child, though, but come on, young lady. Come on, give out some blankets. Because you come to Mama Hood house. <laughs> I'm going to take care of you. These blankets, they keep you good. I even got a good old pillow up here, but I'm gonna hold it on to the pillow for myself. And then I got my good mug. See, this is why this was the mug of the day. This is lady of the house. You see my mug? Oh, I done wasted it. All right. Don't worry, I'm at home. Listen, okay, where y'all from? Texas. Texas? Who else? You from where? Any Chicagoans in the house? Yeah? Okay. Listen, see, because I'm from Chicago, and the thing I want to talk about is I, I get to be around a lot of people and what I do, right? And I travel a lot of places, but I've learned that we tend to say things differently, you know? So I thought we have a moment where we see, you know, how you say it, where you from versus how I say it, where I'm from, so we can understand each other a little bit more. Is that all right? Yes. For instance, we had a conversation the other day about sneakers. Now, I'm from Chicago. Anybody know what a sneaker is? So you say tennis shoes. Well, we call them gym shoes. So you said tennis shoes. What y'all call it? Sneakers. I thought that's the bar we eat. <laughs> so we're going to get this game going. We're going to play a game. I'm going to show y'all a picture, and then y'all going to tell me what you call it from where you from. All right? We're going to call it how we say it back home. All right. OK. Here we go. Because I get real lost. I'll be like, wait, what they mean? OK, so let's show us the first picture. Slippers? Slippers? Well, I can't hear all y'all. Hold on. OK, I call them house shoes. House shoes? Wait, what, what are you saying? Slide. No, 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 house shoes. Those are house shoes. Slides you can wear out in public. Those, those are not supposed to leave the house. Okay, so, how, cause I call them house shoes. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, born okay. and raised. Yes. Okay, so you call it that too. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Thank you for that. <laughs> Let's see another one. What do you call this? What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Janine. I'm from Roland Heights. Okay. Now, what you call this? Janine? It's a freeway. It's a freeway? It is a freeway. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> what y'all call it? What about over here? <laughs> Parking lot. <laughs> y'all maybe, okay. What, what, okay, what do you got? Where you, call, what's your name and where you from? I'm from Indiana and we call it Interstate. Yeah. Really? Because I'm in Chicago. And I call it the expressway. Oh. Okay? Do y'all call it the expressway? Anybody else? Highway. Highway. And they call it, what y'all call it here? Freeway? Freeway. All right, let's try another one. Bring up the next picture. Purse. Ladies. Purse? Wait, I gotta get out for this one. Purse. I wanna hear this. Hello, man. What's your name and where you from? Maggie, I'm from Los Banos, California. All right. Okay, now what do you call that? Pocketbook. Oh, you call it a pocketbook. Okay, okay. I like that. Who else? We call them purses. You call it a purse? Yeah. Really? Purse. Where are you it's from? Purse. But I'm, I'm from Los Angeles named Paulette. Okay. 
See, because I was thinking it was a generational thing, because I know my grandmother used to call it a pocketbook, but then a lot of people, at least today I know of, they call it a purse. I know them as both, purse and a pocketbook. I even got a song called Pocketbook. Okay, anybody know? Don't make me hit you with my pocketbook. Bam! Okay. <laughs> okay, can we do another one? Can I get another picture? Let's see. Sandwich? Okay, I would call it, I think I'm right, I don't know, but y'all gotta help me. I think it's a, oh, oh, a hokey? So what establishes the difference, though? The bread. When it's a hoagie or a regular lunch sandwich with regular bread. So we all agree it's a hoagie sandwich? No? OK, yes, let me hear from somebody. What you got, ma'am? Hello, what's your name and where you from? Uh, I'm Melissa from Santa Ana, California. All right. I really want to learn. It's a torta. <laughs> a it's a torta. <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, elaborate what it's a definition? <laughs> it's a sandwich, but in the torta. <laughs> okay, okay. What were you gonna say, man? Hi, I'm Judy from San Bernardino. My mother called those Dagwood sandwiches. Dagwood sandwiches. Give me the definition. What does that mean exactly? It looked just like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess that's the definition. Okay, thank y'all, that was fun. We have a great show, we'll be right back. Our first guest is an award-winning actress, dancer, and choreographer. Please give it up for my friend, the legendary Debbie Allen. She, oh, oh, you always look so fly. Oh, come on, girl, I'm coming straight from the studio. You, you are? Like, yeah. you, don't you love her energy and her yeah. presence? It's just amazing. Yeah. Your whole vibe is what we would say, a whole vibe. <laughs> oh my God. Do you remember when we first met? I remember when I first saw you yeah. in American Idol. Oh, wow. You were amazing. You watched me on Idol. I watched you on Idol from the very beginning with yeah. Randy and them talking, oh. whatever they had to say. And child, how dare they eliminate you? Ooh. How dare Get they? Up. How yeah. dare they? But then you came back with Dream Girls, didn't you, though? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you were amazing on American Idol. Thank you. It was inspirational for all my Thank kids. You. Thank you. Thank you. I have to say a huge thank you for presenting to me at the L Women in Hollywood. What that meant everything to me to have you there. Oh, you're thank so you. sweet to say that. I was thank honored you. to be there. Yes. Oh, what a great night that was to honor you. <laughs> and they were, they were honoring Halle Berry and Rita Moreno. Yes. And, but you were so special because they were also, you know, paying homage to what you were doing for the community. Mm. With the Jim D. King Foundation. Yes, yes. Yes. And everything to have you there, just the, you know, being the presence of your greatness. I want to talk about Grey's Anatomy. As I was reading your intro, I'm like, you have so many titles. I want to say director, and you know what I mean? And so many other things. <laughs> yeah. So you've been a part of Grey's Anatomy for, what? Uh, it's been 19 seasons? I, I... <laughs> 19, I know, right? Well, I came in in season seven when I started directing. Oh. And I was having such a good time. And Shonda Rhimes realized that I brought an energy to the set. I mean, Patrick Dempsey was running around kicking, talking about fame. <laughs> and people were laughing. And then we got out early. We had a good time. So then uh, it was just a few years later that she asked me to become the executive producing director. And then I became the person in charge of hiring all the directors and working so closely with our showrunner, I mean, Miss Krista Vernoff, who's brilliant, and uh, hiring a, a, a crew, and the first women. I'm, I made it my um, mission to hire 50% female directors. And this was before the Me Too of it all. This was because, as a young woman, I was always on by myself. There was no one to look up to. Right. There was no other woman in the room. And I said, you know, it's time. You know, when you get there, if you can do anything, is you can bring people with you. Right. How about that? And you do that. Yeah. You do that. She does that for the babies and all. Yeah. That is amazing. OK, so you act and you direct on the show. Yeah. Like, how do you prepare when you are going to direct? Ooh, it's a lot. I have to learn those words because medical t language is yes. complex. You, it's like choreography. You learn a routine, but then all of a sudden, a bus is driving through the dance floor because you have to do this surgery. So. Actually, the first time I directed uh, Grey's Anatomy, I went and witnessed a, like a seven-hour bloodless bypass surgery. To prep? 
to, yeah, just to see what those doctors were doing. My dad was a dentist, so I wasn't mm -hmm. totally unfamiliar with the medical world, but in an OR with that little micro, micro blow torch where they cut her open, child, and there was no blood. And I said, ooh, I'm gonna get thin, child, so if they have to do this to me, they're gonna find it. <laughs> I don't have to go through all of that. It was a lot. It was something to learn. And see those doctors doing what they do, talking about the restaurant. Move this out the way. Come on. What restaurant? Talking about the restaurant. Oh, wait. Oh, we got a problem. <laughs> then they quiet down. Then they go back to talking again. That it's it's really, uh, really intense to be in a room with those incredible physicians that save our lives every day. Mm. All of this to be able to direct. You get, do you get recognized a lot from the show? <laughs> 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 I do, you know, and I forget. I mean, fame was a big part of being recognized. But thank you, okay, the baby. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I was, th three years ago, I was in the rainforest in Cuba, watching a religious ceremony, trying to be quiet. And this woman came down on a bike, she saw me and she screamed. Oh. And I screamed, she said, you're Catherine Fox. <laughs> I'm like, in the rainforest? <laughs> in Cuba? <laughs> really? That was amazing, but it just speaks to the footprint of that show and how we have, you know, engaged people. We have had so many thousands and hundreds of thousands of young women that have become doctors and people that go into the metal profession because of that show and people that learn about what their medical challenges are. Mm -hmm. It's a show that is juicy and has great stories, but we're also giving them some real, true information. And um, 19 seasons, I mean, we thought we were finished two years ago. <laughs> you know? Wow. <laughs> Ellen Pompeo. Oh, Ellen Pompeo is so much fun. and. 19 years, she, she said she was gonna be done, so we were done. Then they talked her into another, okay, we're not done yet. And here we are again, because the audience, right. you all won't let us yes. stop. Yes, <laughs> yes. And you're a legend, you're legendary, but I have to ask you, like, what is your I made it moment? I don't know if I have that, because even at this wonderful ripe age yes. of 72. How beautiful. Yeah. I am still in a period of discovery and, and, and trying things I haven't done. I really want to direct an opera. That's really something Ooh, that... nice. I really want to direct I opera. It's how I started as a kid. I love the, uh, the production. Of, you know, it's like, you know musicals, you know. Mm -hmm. Come on, Tony. Yes. <laughs> he got... Come on, girl, you know. Come on. Hey, hey, come on. <laughs> come on. Ah. Come on, you know. <laughs> It's an honor to have you here. You're it so... is a pleasure to be here. You just keep moving your own goalposts and keep moving, you. and that's you all I mean, create the you know. blueprint. So thank you. More with Debbie Allen. We'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back with Debbie Allen. Okay, see, you're an award-winning dancer and choreography. So do your children dance too? They do, actually. Yeah. Yes, my daughter Vivian is a prolific, beautiful dancer trained by Alvin Ailey. Oh. And my son, Thump, oh, there is that he your is, son? Lord, there he is. The you comedian. Hit it. Oh, and my husband. That's your Norman husband? Norman Nixon, child. <laughs> Mr. Laker, Mr. All-Star himself. Look at him. Yes! <laughs> OK, so you took the, I saw this clip. I don't know if y'all saw it. What? Oh, when you took the stage with Patti LaBelle? Oh, Lord, Wait, have mercy, What was Jonathan. happening right here, honey? <laughs> Y'all went all the way in. <laughs> oh, oh. Did you see this? <laughs> oh, my God. Was your son in the audience? My son <laughs> didn't want to speak to me for another week. <laughs> Mama, get off the stage. Stop. He tried to get me not to do it because <laughs> I was right in the front of the stage. I love Patty. We, we all are Patty. screaming. And next thing I know, her, her manager, bodyguard, said, Patty wants you to come on stage. I said, what? Come on. She wants you to dance. I'm like, no. Thump's like, Mom, no, come on, we're gonna go. We started leaving, and then Miss Pat, you know Miss Pat. Yes. Miss Pat, Devin, you better take your ass up there. Don't you, be, <laughs> don't you be walking out on Patty LaBelle. No, you can't walk out you on Patty. You can't walk on a bed. So, God, child, I got up there, and we just got You tore it up. It was so much fun. <laughs> it was just a moment. It was just a moment. <laughs> that gave me so much life. I said, look at Debbie, oh my God. I know, I know my son is not gonna go anywhere else with me for a while See. after that. 
you got to give her another chance. I know. Okay, <laughs> we have to talk about the Debbie Allen Middle School. Yes. I, I was lucky to visit it. So tell me, tell us why it's so important. Oh, my goodness. Well, I grew up in Houston, Texas at a time where I couldn't go to dance class because mm. I was black. Wow. And there were no, there was a school and it was nice, but it wasn't quite that school. My mother moved to Mexico. I came back. And I just know what the arts and education can do for a young person. Yes. It's what helped me get through all that civil rights down in Texas mm -hmm. when it was really bad. I mean, it's getting bad again, but what it was like in the 60s was really tough. I saw things as a child I shouldn't see. So I just think of young people at that age. And I was like 10 years old and I knew I wanted to dance and be in theater and movies. And so if young people could be developed mm -hmm. with their education, academics and the arts, the arts would raise their academic achievement. And so the Debbie Allen Middle School has been a dream of mine for like probably 20 years. Mm -hmm. And we finally started it. And now we have the sixth and the seventh grade. And next year, right now I'm recruiting for the new sixth graders because then I'll have the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And, and they have a half day academics, a half day dancing and theater arts. And we go on great field trips from Aww. Holocaust Museum, Science Center, plays, uh, just watching people. I teach them acting. And my kids are just, engaged in a way, and the class is never more than 15, mm. small. Mm -hmm. So it's a private school. Nice. And, um, that is so good. So bring your children. Bring your children. Call us now. <laughs> <laughs> and you're having a carnival coming up soon. Yes, I'm going to do in February, on February, Sunday the 26th, I'm going to do community carnival. Community. And this will be for the whole community. It will be free rides arts and crafts, dance classes, because we are now located in the Rhymes Performing Arts Center. You were there. Yes. Oh my God, you should have seen Miss Jennifer Hudson. The night we opened this show, when we opened the, the center, she was the surprise guest. Oh. Honey, she came out and dropped the mic on everybody and sang the impossible dream because, oh. no, but I have to tell you, we had Herbie Hancock, Billy Porter, Denise Graves. She, Alina Waithe was there. But when she came out and sang that song, it gave us all pause and excitement because we were sitting in a space that was almost impossible to build during COVID. Mm. It was during COVID that we built this incredible space. Shonda Rhimes gifted us the building and we had to tear it down. Wallace Annenberg was the first one to bring us money. Kobe Bryant mm. contributed a million dollars before he died. <laughs> Tyler Perry, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett mm. Smith. These, uh, and a lot of people you will never know, they all understand Right. The value of the arts in our children's lives. And we do that and we teach a, a class for cancer patients, a class for elders. But when you came for that grand opening, we will always love you for giving us your time oh. and for, for sending us off to such an inspirational journey. And we're still, we're really on it now. So you gotta come back. I would love to come back. Anything for the babies and anything for you. Welcome back. I thought I had seen it all until now. You may have heard of a wine sommelier, but our next guest is an expert in water. Please welcome Martin Risa. <laughs> Hi, Hello. 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 Nice to meet you, Martin. Hello. 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 Okay, I asked my friend Paige to join us so you could teach us together. I like it. Yes, we're I like very it. excited for this taste. I feel honored to be here, I have to say. Like, Two beautiful ladies, me in the middle. Oh, That's you. great. I love this. Thank you. This is great. Yeah. It's paradise for me. Mom, what is a water sommelier? Yeah, I'm asking me the same question all the time. I never so heard I'm a hydrated guy. Yes. Uh -huh. I love water. And let's face it, millions of people don't have access to clean and safe drinking water on this planet. That's true. And I want to bring awareness to water. So water has taste. Let's honor water for what it is, because without water, we wouldn't be on this planet. I love it. it. True. I love it. Okay. I agree. What are we going to do today? Okay. I'm a little, a little thirsty, obviously. As a water sommelier, I always want to be hydrated. Uh -huh. okay. And the first water we're going to taste today comes from Denmark. Wow. And by the way, every water has taste because every water has a different mineral composition okay. dissolved by nature. There is no pure water. It's a myth. 
no it's pure a water. Myth. Okay. Here we go. And okay. this is the flat. And I'm going to taste some. That's a still water. Still, still. Yeah. So still. Let's, let's taste it, huh? Cheers. Can we do some special? Cheers. You swirl Cheers. it around like you do with wine? Nah. Okay. Just nah. Drink. Just drink it, huh? Drink it. Because I surely am thirsty. Oh, that's smooth. Oh, I think so too. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. No salty, no. smooth, huh? Well, it is smooth. It, so it you is. can measure the mineral composition of each water by TDS, stands for total dissolved solids. And the higher the minerals combined in a water, the stronger will taste wow. the water. It's kind of like putting a little salt in your soup. Yeah, it's kind of like tasteless. A little salt more, then suddenly all the flavors will appear. It's Same very Same with water. By the way, I'm like the Harry Potter of waters. Mm. I can do a little magic trick with you. So it is a still water. It's clear. See Looks that? like water to you. Okay. So let's see what's happening when I shake this bottle. Look at this. Suddenly it's getting a little cloudy here. Oh, wow. It is. Huh? I do see the clouds. Look what all this is. Yeah. All these yeah. tiny bubbles. Uh -huh. But we just said it's a still water. So what do you think what that is? Um, mineral. <gasps> what are you? Air. Oxygen. 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 She, she could be a water swimmer. Oxygen. Clearly. Okay, there we go. Okay. There we go. Huh? Is okay. there a special glass you should drink water out of? I love wine glasses. Because okay. wine glasses are designed to taste everything out of water, so I think a wine glass should be used as well for water. I love it. It's on a water for what it is. Okay. What's okay. next? Okay. Okay. So the next one. We're going to Australia, to Down Under. Oh. So the TDS of this water love it. is... 1,300. The first one we had is 340. Oh, so you so we see do the jump. number is so much more. Minerals dissolved in this water. Minerals. And this, is this still? That's a still water as okay. well. Yep. Oh. Is this zero calories or is there? Zero. Z Love it. No, we're not talking about Cheers. some, some flavored water with lots of calories okay. in there. Okay. Prost. I'm German. Prost. Oh, is this water? Crazy, huh? Yeah. How different that will taste? It does this taste different. This one tastes a little bit more. Um, what it tastes like to you, Paige? A little bit more. Let me taste it again. It's smooth, <sighs> but it's also like. I think the texture is. Different. Yeah, the, there's a different thicker. texture. Almost it like, does yeah, taste it's thicker. Like thick. It's like almost like an olive oil. Yeah, is this like crazy? Olive oil. Tastes thicker. Is this crazy? Mm -hmm. So even water has texture, and it's just based on the different minerals composition what Mother Nature gives wow. to us. Wow, I actually taste this one. It's actually pretty cool. I, I heard you it's singing like... sometimes, mm -hmm. and this is great for people for the for the vocal the voice because you said yes, it's a little oily, it's a little bit oily, thicker, and it moisturizes longer. Oh. Okay, yeah, how much does this water cost if I want to, oh. you know, use All these waters I brought are between two and four dollars. I don't believe oh, that wow. water should be super expensive and fancy. No. Everybody should have access to water. That's for me the mm -hmm. most important mm -hmm. thing. Wow, I love that. Thank you for that. What's next? What's I this? Love that. Yeah, okay, what we got? we're going to Peru, and now we're talking a little bit bubbles. So this I'm is loving that. Okay, I love a bubble. We're really bubbles. traveling around the globe. Yeah. Here we this go. has bubbles, so sparkly. This has little bubbles. Great. Mm -hmm. But I would call it effervescent. Well, the bubbles are super, super oh. tiny. See, listen, is this like a sparkling water? Because, I almost have a heart attack. Listen, what did you put in there? Because, I, okay, this is my turn up drink. I put what crystal light smell? and I make my own, own like. Oh my gosh, what flavor is I'm that? I'm from Chicago, so I call it pop, <laughs> okay? This is my version of pop, so I thought I, I'd give it a little kick and put, mm. put some. I will give you a little kick with this one later. Oh, Trust Lord. me, okay. you don't need any flavor added for that. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love this one. It tastes a little alka seltzer I think I need a little more. I actually like that I you're like saying that. this because yeah. you're absolutely right. The mineral composition here is even higher than this. So it this is, is a little bit alka How does yours taste with the crystal light? It punched it up a notch. You want to punch up mine? <laughs> I'm trying, Liz, can you want to try you my mind? drink, sir? Uh, just a little bit, yeah. There you go. Perfect. What, <laughs> what is the smell? You what is the flavor there? Uh, see? The flavor is artificial. I yeah. <laughs> This is great. If we wanted to, could Perfect. we put ice in the water? I would not put ice cubes in water because, let's face it, you would uh, water down water <laughs> with water. Sounds crazy. Water but, down water with water. Okay. But your ice cubes are made of your tap water, and that's maybe highly chlorinated. So okay. you have different taste profiles already here. When you put ice cubes in it, you will literally dilute water with water. I wouldn't do it. Understood. Yes, water sir. Water. Okay, this, the last that? one. This is a crazy I'm water. Not gonna put no crystal this is ice. like the, the energy drink of waters because this water has more electrolytes than maybe your leading favorite sports drinks. 
with zero calories, zero sugar, nothing. And this is, again, crafted by nature. So nothing has been added to this. So natural occurring minerals and natural occurring carbonation. Would you recommend this for after, like, the yeah, when you had a little sport, bit too... or Yeah, I out. think it's great for the gym. Great. Because you're losing a lot of minerals when you're... Oh, this one tastes more sparkly than that. Oh, yeah. And I think this is the oh. anti-hangover cure. Wait, what's that? When you have a little bit too much alcohol uh -huh. and you drink this water right after, uh -huh. there will be no hangover the next day and you're ready for your Bloody Marys. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> okay. Man. Thank you for that. You're going to have to leave me with that. Yeah, you're going to have to leave this. me with but this one too. It's like yes, the champagne of waters. I like it. I feel oh, bougie. Like it a, you, you're right, I feel bougie. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Always here for this you. This was really I cool. Love you learn something new every day. For more information about Martin, go to our website. We'll be right back. I like this. We need more people like our next guest in the world. In 2018, when she was unemployed and almost broke, guess what she did? She started giving some of the little money she had away to people who were more in need. From Alabama, please welcome Lynn Thomas. I think what you're doing is so amazing. Thank you. Tell me about 2018. Still a <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, goodness. 2018, um, that's when I lost my job. And ironically enough, that's when I started being a blessing to a a lot of different people. I was spiritually led to start doing that because I had desires prior, but I didn't have the means to do so. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's just do it. I had this push. So that's when I started being a blessing to people on social media. Mm. So like most people mentality would be to hold on to their money, you know, when it's low. Right. What, what was it that made you say, I would think it was faith? But was it that that made you say, you know what, I'm going to give instead? Yeah, I would say it was definitely my faith because I had prayed about it. Uh -huh. And I was like, you know what, let's just do this. So that's when I was, got the urge to do so. It started off really small, mm -hmm. but then it started getting bigger. It started off at $5, $10, $20. Then it started to me raising money to help families during the holidays. And you still, yeah, give a hand. Wow. So beautiful. And you still do this? Oh, yes, yeah. definitely. So with the giving that I do now, with the donations, it's not so much online anymore. It's more so in the street. When I see different ones that may be less fortunate or homeless, mm -hmm. that's when I'm led to do so. Mm. That's what speaks to your spirit to want to yes. do it. Okay. Um, how, like, how much has it grown? Like, is it where you want it to be? Um, not exactly, because this is mostly out of pocket, mm -hmm. unless I'm maybe asking for donations from different ones, but it has gotten to the point now that I'm blessing a family $50 a week. $50, that is so beautiful. I love this. You've been doing this for a while. Um, any special moments that you remember doing your journey in this? Um, yes, um, Christmas of 2019, I had posted to my page, Sewing On Purpose, is on Facebook as well as Instagram. I posted, I said, hey guys, it's this time of year. I said, I'm looking to be a blessing to a family, so please email me, and I put out the email address. Hmm. I've read many submissions, but it was the one that really stuck out. It was a family that was out of Ann Arbor, Michigan, and they began to tell me about their sick son. So I was like, you know what, this moved me, so that was the family that received the blessing. And the mother reached back out to me by email saying, like, you just don't know what you've done. This was so generous. This was so kind. And I didn't feel like I did much, mm. but it felt, she made me feel as if I gave her a million dollars. So then I'm sure it was. <laughs> what does it do for your spirit when, when you see people react like that? Well, to be honest, it keeps me humble. Mm -hmm. It lets me know, hey, if you're not careful, you can one day be in this their position. That's right. That's right. That is so beautiful. I want to talk to you a little bit more. Can you stick around for a minute? Oh, definitely. All right, we'll be back. We're back with the very generous Lynn Thomas. Now, did you ever think you would get recognized for what you're doing? Not at all, because to be honest about it, I never did it for recognition. Right. I just did it because it was the right thing to do. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> 
That seems like your spirit. Okay, please tell us, what all can we do to be more like you? I would say, don't be afraid. Like, you would think that a dollar is not enough, but it's enough to change somebody's day. It's as simple as that. Huh? Simple as that. That's so amazing. Okay, well, I'm going to give you something you need. So um, you promised you'll keep it to yourself. Because we want to give you something. You're always giving to others. <laughs> you know? So you're getting a five-night stay for two at Garza Blanca Resort and Spa in Cancun. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Where you'll stay in an ocean view suite and dine on gourmet cuisine while relaxing poolside. Congratulations to you. You are amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know? Thank you. The oh more you goodness. do for others, the more you will be blessed, and you are a true example of that. So you keep doing what you're doing and set an example for all of us. We really appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> if you want to learn more about Lynn and how you can help, go to our website. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.